Ever watch the film Warriors? Well, at the end of the film in the Warriors, there's a guy with the bottles on his fingers. You can do that with metal pegs. Warriors! Come out to play! Can't do that with plastic pegs. Been watching a lot of old videos recently, a lot of old Van Homan edits, a lot of old props edits, a lot of Sean Burns edits. They do these huge grinds, really gnarly ledges, that metal sound. Oh, that metal sound. You see all the dust come up from the ledges where they're unwaxed. You hear the noise as a metal peg goes along the metal rail. I do miss it. Most people I film with these days, they all run plastic pegs. The groins they're doing, incredible, fantastic. But because their pegs are plastic, it hasn't got the same sound as it used to have. I love the sound of metal on metal. Not just saying that because I make my own pegs. Remember, I don't sell them anymore, so this ain't a sales pitch. <laughs> Can't you up one out? The silencer, I call it. Don't make no noise. Metal pegs. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> See, I've always had the option of either running metal or plastic because I make both. I made some plastics purposely when I first did my skate park. I didn't want to sort of ruin all the wood. I didn't have proper sort of metal plates on top of the quarters, so when I was stalling them, I was chunking up all the plywood. So I put plastics on for a little bit. But every time I went out grinding properly at other skate parks, I wanted the noise back. I mean, growing up, we never really heard of plastic pegs. It was pretty much all metal. The council fucking hated us. We'd go and wax up these ledges. We'd grind the hell out of them. We'd chunk the shit out of these ledges. The council must love you boys nowadays. All of you rocking plastic pegs. You don't really ruin the ledges, which I guess in a way is kind of cool. The ledges last longer. But like I say, I love metal. I love the sound of metal wrecking shit. I just love it. But as we all know, an opinion is like an asshole. Everyone has one. And you're all entitled to your opinion. You can drop your comments and say, basket, you're talking shit, plastic is the best. That is your opinion, and this is my opinion. You have come to my channel, you gotta listen to what I gotta say. I grew up with metal pegs, all my friends grew up with metal pegs. Every time we sort of did rails, ledges, and all that stuff, we loved that sound. So I've been watching a couple edits lately, of like kind of new school riders and I seen some guy the other day he pretty much ice picked a 20 stair handrail but he did it with plastic pegs and there was no sound I mean obviously the clip had sound because it was plastic there was hardly any sound it was just like and that was it amazing clip fucking legend but I just felt I wish you just sort of put a metal peg on just for that occasion just so you could hear that noise and you know what noise I'm talking about I've got a plastic peg here, look, I've got a frame. Bit of a dull sound, whereas you get a metal peg, the first noise, oh yeah. 
the microphone might not pick that up properly, but you get what I'm saying. So some of you might have seen this rail before. It's been in a couple edits. Quite a straightforward setup. It's in three pieces. One leg set up, two legs set up. This joining tube here joins the whole thing together. I like making things. I am an engineer. I feel like I designed this rail quite cleverly. I mean, you've got the two points there. All I've done is got to join the tube with a hole each end. The cool thing is with this, one minute, the rail is eight and a half foot. But I've made a new piece, and this is what I'm gonna show you. And ta -da! Look how long the fucker is. Oh yeah. So a lot of you watching this now are thinking, that rail's pretty long, maybe it needs a third leg, another leg in the middle. There is a position for it to have the third leg, but for what I want to use it for, you don't need the third leg. So I've got a video coming up, saying I've got planned. Funny enough, the black book is coming back out. Those who've been watching my vlogs for a while will remember the black book. Last time I used it, I did the road gap. So this rail has been specially made for another black book edition. What a beast. And yeah, that now measures in at 14 feet. So that section I've put in is an extra six foot on top. It is a little bit cold outside. It is a little bit damp in places. I need to take this rail somewhere now, give it a few grinds with metal pegs and uh, continue this vlogging style. Uh, now I've got to take it apart, fit it in my car, put it back together and see how it can handle before my future vlog to make sure that this rail doesn't fail. That is a plan. This rail cannot fail. Touch wood. So it is a little bit dark here. Probably the lightest car park I can find, which is semi-dry. A little bit slippery, but it'll do. So uh, I just want to give it a few ice picks. Get the old metal sound going. Give it a little bit of a wax and uh, yeah. See how the old girl grinds. So yeah, the whole idea of this rail, I want to put it over a certain gap. That's going to be a future vlog. And I've got to make sure that it slides and it doesn't bow too much with just the two legs being at that length. So I'll well, give it a few ice picks now, make sure it's all sturdy and safe, ready for another day. So that's all I pretty much wanted to do. I wanted to test out this rail to make sure it is all right without a middle leg. It bows a little bit, but once you lock the ice pick in, it slides really nicely. And the whole idea, like I said, that is going across the gap, so there'll be nothing in the middle, and uh, see if I can lock an ice pick in for a future vlog. I mean, you see that? That moves a little bit, but I've got little screws that can go in there that screw that down, both ends. And uh, yeah, we're on to a winner here. God, it's like a fucking workout, this thing. Jesus Christ. Yep, I am well happy with that. In normal circumstances, if you were to make a rail this long, you would need a middle leg, because the middle would bow like mad. But because of the decent joiner I've got in there, it doesn't bow. Basket engineering. <laughs> See that piece of tube there, look? That goes in between those two tubes and once bolted up, it is solid. And you've got that flat surface there for the bolts to sort of grip hold of. And when it's all together, what a beast. And we're back. I mean, the actual plan, I was supposed to go to the Glastonbury skate park tonight with that rail, 
but the forecast wasn't looking good and some local to Glastonbury said that the skate park is really wet. I'm not driving all that way for the session to then get rained off. I'll go somewhere local. I'll try and find the lightest, driest car park. And that is the lightest car park I could find. But anyway, just a midweek basket experiment, making sure the things that I've made actually fucking work. And uh, yeah, I'm more than happy with that rail. You'll see in the video, the rail does bow a little bit. It's bound to, for how long it is, it's 12 foot between the legs. Then another foot comes off the end, making the whole rail 14 foot. So yeah, the basket rail is set. That is set now for another video. Like I said, I just wanted to go out and make sure that it's all good to go. I'll land on it nice and hard just before I do the actual setup that I've got planned for that. Plus, two new sections, they need painting up so it would slide even better. I've got some actual proper rail paint. I had to actually wax up the other two bits just so it slid for tonight. And once it's all bolted together, once it's all fitted in place, it's gonna make for a quite exciting video, I can assure you. And hopefully, touch wood, I can tick another thing off from my black book. That is the plan. You're gonna see a lot more of that rail through this winter. I'll be taking it on a lot of sessions during the evenings to the local skate parks and stuff, make for more exciting spots and uh, hopefully get that kicker out as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Oh yeah, basket engineering. Woo! <laughs>